Some of my videos are in real time and some of my videos are pre-recorded. And I'm vague on where I am, my location, for my own safety. Hello, it's December 2021, and before I get into this video, I'm just going to address a couple quick points here. Now, I do have videos that are pre-recorded. Some of them are still waiting to be edited in a video editor, and some are scheduled to go public. And apparently, it's confusing to some people with some of my videos where I don't say a specific date or time or anything else. And some of the videos are actually pre-recorded with a date and time scheduled to go up that day. And I guess some people are being confused. So from now on, I'm not going to be stating a specific day or time, just the month and the year. Hopefully that solves any problems or concerns or anything with regards to that. And today's a nice day. And you know, looking back, if I knew how my life would end up, I would have had a different vehicle right now. Would have bought uh, either a Chevy or a GMC cargo van, 4x4, and had more space to uh, call home. But I'm very happy with the vehicle that I have. It's awesome on the trails. I can go on tight trails and go places where most people can't. So there's a plus side to it. It's just inside space is extremely limited. Anyway, I digress. So I'd like to talk about uh, my objectives with, say, for example, my videos and my posts and even comments. Hopefully to clarify uh, with some people where I'm coming from, what, like, what am I trying to achieve. And I know it's, it's easy for people to get into heated arguments say with me I'd just shake my head because this latest example this individual is arguing with me I have no idea why and it appears well it's very obvious that they didn't read or if they did read they didn't understand my comments to a post and they went on this rant as if I'm someone for example who agrees with current worldwide events and going along with the narrative, which is could be further from the truth. And a lot of the problem there is, again, I did a video recently about perceptions and, and how people interpret things and everything else. It's just mind-numbing. And I was trying to say, listen, you know, basically we're on the same page here, so I don't know why you're arguing with me. It's, but whatever, they seen what they want to see and went on this huge rant and it is what it is and you get that and it's amazing how people will say things online but would they really be that rude or has a descriptive that stupid when talking to someone face to face and this is not a well, maybe it is a criticism, I guess. But I just want to clarify where I'm coming from. Say with, for example, current worldwide events. Now, my primary focus has been for many, many years whistleblowing and exposing first-hand knowledge and things that I have have first-hand experience with throughout my life. And I try to share this information to make it to make people aware, keep the truth alive, and partly also to get my story out. But when it comes to, for example, current worldwide events, some people interpret, and I've talked about this in other videos, my being negative, like shooting everything down. And what I'm doing is I'm presenting facts that a lot of people don't want to, to, to face. And for example, when it comes to law, and people are trying to make some sort of legal arguments or whatever, 
and I'm highlighting what they're up against. Now, any good advocate, and I'm sure there's uh, advocates watching this video, and they know what I'm saying, is you have to be able to look at every single angle. And that's what makes a good advocate, is being able to look at, for example, what the opposing party may say, anticipate these things. And through my own personal and professional experiences, that's how I'm approaching everything. So when I'm saying something with regards to, well, it's going to fail because of this, it's not being pessimistic. It's based on experience and knowledge and, and an understanding on what, for example, if somebody's trying to use a legal argument, what they're up against and why it will fail. And again, I'm not trying to discourage anyone from standing up for truth or justice. I, you know, I'm I'm very much the person to be doing that, and I put my money where my mouth is. I sacrificed everything. This is why I'm I'm living the way I am. So, whether it be um, from a legal perspective or from a social perspective, where I'm telling people that current worldwide events is the biggest known social justice movement ever and this is what people are really up against and this is where as a descriptive the fight for as a lot of people would call it freedom will fail because regardless if there appears to be or there is millions on the side of those who are not going along with current worldwide events or what's being imposed it's still an extreme minority because most people, as, as I've said, are going along with the official narratives. Whether they want to or they don't, they still are. And the problem is the people who don't want to but do, in the end, will eventually, if not right away, expect the people who are still not going along with it to comply as well. Because, well, if I had to, you have to too. And so what I'm really trying to highlight the, the obstacles, the legitimate obstacles, and where the failures are. And it's through learning, through failures, that's how you get ahead. You're not going to learn anything if you don't look, say for example, with somebody who has experience trying to whistleblow and expose and fight for truth and justice. You learn from the failures, whether the failures be on the individual or because of corruption, as I highlight regarding my story, uh, my case and what I've been through. And this is where I'm coming from with regards to my videos, posts and comments. So hopefully this helps. and. Ultimately, that's my objective. And I do take a lot of the times, most of the time, a neutral stance on what I say. Because, again, you have to be able to look at it from all sides. And a lot of what I say does apply, for example, to both sides. And I'll give you an example real quick. When I say that you're not waking up, as that descriptive goes, anyone from either position or any position. It appears once people are committed to whatever cause it is, right or wrong, they're committed. Boom, that's it. There's, there's no changing anyone's minds. So there's things like that which I'll approach from a neutral perspective, which anyone could, on any topic, it could be worldwide events, your personal life, whatever. So I really just want to clarify my, my my position, where I'm coming from, and what I'm trying to achieve. I'm trying to help. And a lot of people who are resisting, for example, when I'm saying, well, yeah, like, that's not going to work, you know, or somebody will post a video where someone else is saying, and everyone's like, oh, this is worth listening to. And I'll listen to it, or skim through it, and be like, yeah, this, yeah. I mean, the person, say, for example, making a video saying something, may have good intentions, but they're so far off the mark. And I've said repeatedly how most people who see themselves as awake may be awake to one or several things, but end up slumbering in something else 
while slumbering and everything else. And that ties in directly with um, all these previous social justice movements that have been around for a long time, even decades. And when this is where we see this great divide, even, it doesn't matter which side of the camp you're on, say for example with worldwide current events, we see a divide. Because everyone might have common ground on either side, but then there's going to be something else that will divide them and destroy. And this is where we we don't we lose the cohesion on any side on any topic. Compound that with misinformation and disinformation and exaggerations and everything else. Um, yeah. So I'm not trying to burst any bubbles. I'm tr I'm keeping it real, stating the facts. And a lot of people, for example, who are not going along with current worldwide events are looking at the other side saying, well, you're not, why can't you see the facts? You know, here's the facts. Here's, here's the reality of whatever. Why can't you see it? The same thing is being done within the camp. When I, for example, try to show something, highlight something, I don't tell people what to say, think, or do. And I definitely don't tell people what they want to hear. Perhaps I tell people what they need to hear. And that's the problem. Anyway, things to think about. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share.